Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is acids, bases and salts, a topic that is offered at Form 4 level. Now today I would like us to discuss amphoteric oxides and hydroxides. Uh, basically, uh, we say that uh, metal oxides are basic oxides. We say that most metal oxides are basic oxides or they form bases. We also say that uh, most non-metallic oxides are acidic oxides. But of course we have a few that are neutral. Uh, but we have other oxides uh, that have both acidic and basic properties. So for those that have both acidic and basic properties, we refer to them as being amphoteric. So you can say that uh, the term amphoteric means having both acidic and basic properties having both acidic and basic properties i.e. can react with acids and bases can react with acids and bases so we have examples uh, we have examples of Metal oxides and hydroxides uh, that are amphoteric. So you can say that uh, oxides and hydroxides of zinc, lead, and aluminium are amphoteric they are amphoteric so both the oxides and the hydroxides of zinc lead and aluminium that means that if you take zinc oxide it has both acidic and basic properties if you take lead 2 oxide it has both acidic and basic properties the same case applies to their hydroxides the same case applies to their hydroxides. And we can be able to see that from uh, some examples. We can say, for example, zinc oxide can react with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride plus water. So in that case, zinc oxide is acting as a base. So here it's acting as a base. On the other hand, if you take lead 2 oxide, plus nitric acid, you'll get... Uh, lead 2 nitrate plus water so again here lead 2 oxide is acting as a base if you have aluminium oxide plus sulfuric acid We are getting aluminium sulfate plus water.
Yes, we have that. So in this uh, aluminum oxide is acting also as a base. So that is one scenario. However, the same oxides can also act as acids, especially where they are reacting with bases. <coughs> so you can say that however, zinc oxide lead 2 oxide and aluminium oxide can act as acids when they react with the sodium hydroxide which is a base with sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide so sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are strong bases so when zinc oxide lead 2 oxide and aluminum oxide reacts with either of the two then they are acting as acids they are acting as acids as we can see from these reactions here. So here, since this is a base, zinc oxide is acting as an acid. And to balance the equation, on the other hand, if you have lead 2 oxide plus sodium hydroxide, We'll have so lead two oxide is acting as an acid. So to balance, because it's reacting with a base, the equation is balanced. Aluminium oxide. So again, aluminium oxide here is acting as an acid because it's able to react with a base. So the base is sodium hydroxide in this case. And the others, the zinc oxide, lead 2 oxide, and aluminium oxide are acting as acids. In the previous example, the zinc oxide, the lead 2 oxide, and the aluminium oxide are acting as bases because they are reacting with acids. So basically, we can say that... Uh, their oxides are amphoteric, meaning that they have both acidic and basic properties. So you can say that uh, <coughs> uh, zinc hydroxide, lead 2 hydroxide, that is their hydroxides, and aluminium hydroxide are also amphoteric 
they are also amphoteric. That's what we are calling amphoteric hydroxide. So we have amphoteric oxides and amphoteric oxides. So basically zinc, lead, and aluminium, both their hydroxides and oxides are amphoteric. So the assignment, the first question, what does the term amphoteric mean? Two, give three examples of amphoteric hydroxides and three, write chemical equations for the reaction between A, zinc hydroxide and sodium hydroxide, B, aluminum hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music>